In this video, I will be providing you with a way to lay out a set of stairs like this because one of our viewers was having a problem figuring it out. So let's go ahead and get started with a couple of circles here and a center point. And the only reason why I'm showing you this is just to provide you with a reference of how we're going to use circular shapes to lay out the stair steps. Next up, let's go ahead and draw a line through the center of the circles here. And of course, this line here will represent the edge of the building and of course our building here. Now, one thing that's very important here is that you figure out where the starting point is going to be located. And if you have a door, there's a very good chance the center point of the stairway will be located in the center of the doorway. So I could just simply go two foot away from the center point here if I was going to use this as a reference point or I could add another foot, another foot, and another foot. So if I needed this as a reference point, I would just simply add all of these numbers together, which in our case is going to be five feet, so that I could position the stairway accordingly. And I understand that in my example, I'm laying this out on a flat floor. You might not have that. You might have a bunch of dirt. And if that's the case, you're just simply going to use the reference point here as a guideline. You'll be using the reference point for your stakes if it's going to be a concrete stairway. Or you could always lay down a couple of sheets of plywood and firmly attach those to the ground and then lay out your stairway. So you're going to start with a center point and then simply draw each one of those lines according to the measurements you have for each one of the steps and the landing. And if you need more information about how to draw a circle with a tape measure, then simply put this title into your favorite search engine to find the video that I made on it. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.